I promise you by the end of this video, you'll be able to solve this tricky math problem. Two minus two times two minus two. And some people will start solving this math problem like this. They'll start with two minus two, which equals zero. And then times two minus two, that equals zero. And zero times zero, zero. And some people will start like this. Two minus two is zero times two is zero minus two equals negative two. And this is wrong and this is wrong. Let me show you how to solve this math problem correctly. And they did not use PAMDAS. And PAMDAS is just an acronym, acronym to help us um, with the order of operations. So it's just an acronym that will help us with the order of operations. And P stands for parentheses, E exponents, MD, multiplication, division, and lastly, AS, addition and subtraction. And so there are four different levels in PAMDAS, and you solve the math problem from left to right according to the levels of PAMDAS. So 2 minus 2 will not go first because that is in the lower level. Multiplication will go first because it's above the AS level. So what is 2 times 2? Hmm, 4. So I'll write 4 and then bring down the rest. 2 minus 4 minus 2. Now there are two ways to solve this. You can use the number line or you can use money scenario. So a, a money scenario. So um, let's use the number line. And write zero. And we are solving this problem from left to right. So two minus four. So we'll start at two. So that's one, two. And we're going to move back four spaces or four units, I mean. You move four units to the left. So you'll land at negative two. So starting at two, so one, two, three, and four. So you'll land at negative two. So two minus four equals negative two. Now the money scenario. So if you have $2, right? And you need to pay someone $4 and you only gave that person only $2, because that's all you have, $2, you still owe that person another $2. <laughs> so the answer is negative two. And the negative next to the, the negative sign next to the two is telling you that you owe $2. So um, I'll write it here, negative two, and then bring down the subtraction symbol down and the two down. Now we have negative two minus two. And again, you can use the number line, just go back two units to the left. So you'll land at negative four, which is the answer. One, two, negative four. So your answer will be negative four. Or you can think about you can think about the money scenario. So if you owe two dollars and the person is asking for another two dollars, you'll be at negative four dollars. So that is your answer. And there you go. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to reach uh, 100,000 subscribers by, the, by 2027. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.